Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Sky Factory 4. Today guys, we're going to be doing some awesome stuff. First up, I want to uh, redo this intro because I completely messed it up. But you know what guys, let's just roll with it. I did a weird little pause in my voice, forgot what I was going to do today, even though I just thought about it. But anyways guys, we're going to fix this mess up here for a start anyway. Uh, we... Uh, we're gonna lag as well. We're gonna do that. Yep. Very good. Uh, we need to get bigger um, Power production because uh, eventually we're gonna get into some more stuff here And you know what guys, I think I'm gonna have to restart my computer. It's been all kinds of buggy around here It, sh it usually gets better the longer I play, but I don't know usually if I do a restart It's it's fine. Um, anyways guys we have filled up this obviously and uh, we're going to get into some more machines And we're gonna be using a lot of them to do our smelting and things like that as we go along. So if we have a look, oops, wrong menu guys. If we have a look in Age of Power, there's lots of things in here that we can make that's gonna use power and make power and things like that. Uh, we got we got batteries, we got all sorts of things here going on. So we need to get this updated. So I probably want about four of these um, upgradable geothermal generators and probably at least four of these energy transfer nodes. So that we don't have to have cables going all over the place, we can just wirelessly power everything, which would be fantastic. But in that case, I think we're going to need a bit of lava production system, because, I mean, this is this is reasonable, but I think we're probably going to need a bit more. So we're going to need probably a few more cauldrons, and I don't want to use these droppers anymore, guys. I do not want to use them. What I want to use is this clicker here. So in order to get that, guys, we're going to need diorite, and to get diorite, we make it like this. So... Let's grab uh, some of the- oh, I made a lot there. That's- that's- that's bad. Okay, there you go. That's all we need. We're gonna need a few of these anyway, so actually, I should make a few more of these. Uh, that did not work, guys. It's because of all the, uh, the- all the chisel stuff in here makes it very hard to, um, craft things sometimes. I kind of wish the chisel stuff wouldn't show up for the crafting. That would make it a- a lot easier, I think. Because if you go like this, it just cycles through all the different ones. And when I click here, it doesn't bring it up, because I've only got normal diorite. Um, so what I need to do is get the diorite and do it myself. But I don't want to do that, guys. And, oh yeah, we're going to have to restart. This is ridiculously slow. Oh my goodness, guys, what is going on? There we go. Oh, I didn't actually make more diorite. That is, that is probably why it's not working. Okay, very interesting. Probably just lag again, guys. I don't know what's going on. Let's turn all of that into that. Fantastic. And now, let's see if we can make the clicker. Let's see if we can actually type this in. Oh, we can't type it. No, we can't type it again. It goes I first. Okay, very good. There we go. Auto clicker. Uh, do we have redstone blocks? Let's just craft uh, four of those for now, just in case. Uh, dispensers. I think we're out of string. Yes, we're out of string. I think we have a couple in here already, though. So, oh, we've got just the one. Okay, guys, this thing is pretty cool. Oh, it's an achievement as well. Very good, very good. If you do this, it's just going to click on the block in front of it, but you can program it with different speeds, left and right clicking whether you're sneaking or not. It does need power, so in order to power this, we're going to have to have power already, but luckily we do. So I think um, I'm going to charge something up. Uh, maybe we should make one of these batteries. Just while we're making this, we still have power to power these. They'll probably be quite handy, but all of these blocks have power in them and everything anyway, so... We should be all right. We can always put this back if we have to. And maybe we just have this on the side and we can turn it on just enough to power these if we ever run out of power or we do something silly. That would probably be good. But yeah, you can you can put this up to one tick. Uh, one click every one tick. Like that's just, that's as fast as anything can click a game, I believe. So yeah, it's really cool. And then obviously I think there's an item slot here. So uh, let's say uh, right click there, one. Let's give this a bit of power. Um, all right, this one's the uncrafting block. I'll uh, put it back in a second. One of these is the uncrafter. Yeah, that one. We'll put it back in a second. I'm just going to put it on here for now so we can see if this thing is working. So once I put this in here, it should place a block in front of it, I guess. Uh, no, one click. Come on, place a block. Maybe it needs a block to click onto over here. Let's see. Oh, there you go, because it's clicking right in front of it, not on the floor. Okay, very good. Whoa. Um, how is that working? How can it possibly place a block there? That's very weird, guys. I, I don't know, but that's, that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. 
Um, anyways, guys, we can use that clicker to put the cobblestone into these, I believe, into the cauldrons. So I'm going to make a few more cauldrons. I'm going to clean all this stuff up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to make better places for this, like, advanced subscriber and stuff. I mean, I don't think we're going to need to use this much more. We've got the challenges, and we can't use the MEAE system in here because it doesn't have wireless crafting. So, yeah, that's probably we can probably just put that in the system and leave it there. Okay, guys, let's get on. I'm going to put the power back onto the uncrafter, and I'm going to restart my computer because, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going good. Alrighty guys, I've just been cleaning all this stuff up, but now we should be able to get onto these upgradable geothermic uh, generators. So, we need to make a couple of these, so I need to get myself some more magma blocks, which I should be able to make these days. Let's have a look. I did struggle at the beginning, but I think, yeah, we can make this sort of stuff pretty easy now. So let's make a bunch of that. I need to put more slime balls and stuff in here. Oh, that is, that is not what we want, not at all. So we can make three of those. That's not quite enough, but we can make one. So we'll just go through this process here anyway. Let's make one of those. Uh, let's actually just make three while we're here. And then we need to make this. What are we missing? Nothing. Okay, fantastic. So we're just missing those to make more. And can we make these? These should be fairly easy. Oh, what goes in the middle there? Iron blocks. Oh my goodness, iron. We need... Actually, I don't think we need that many because we can make... Oh yeah, we do need that many. Okay, so we need one, two, three, there we go. That's going to be enough to make all of these. So we can make this now. So we've got one extra now. Um, also the upgrades, the upgrades, we need to get a lot of those as well. So yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to struggle guys, but um, it's basically the iron process. So I've put our iron tree back because those guys are not making enough iron. And uh, so we should be getting bits of iron in here as well. Which is good. I just I want to get rid of the trees. There are a lot of uh, there are a lot of work, guys, and I don't I don't want to do work. I want it to do it for me. That's the whole point of this modded stuff. So yeah, there we okay. We've got another fourteen there. Chuck that in there. Take these out. Put them back in there. Rearrange that. So those I'm slowly getting rid of those original um I um things there. So we're slowly getting iron, but uh, it's it's not it's not quick enough, guys. Not at all. But let's put this resin back in here because that is the most valuable stuff in there. Put that back in. And guys, to get string, all you got to do is crush these up in a crusher, the cottonwood acorns. So that's what I did to get enough string for the dispensers. All right, let's craft a few more of these things now. What were we waiting on? Uh, we need to get some more of this, don't we? So we need to do that. Um, I think let's just do all of this. We should be able to get more of that stuff. Okay, there's still not enough, guys. We can get three. Okay, let's... I mean that's 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 good, but we need we need oh hang on there we go guys we got it oh fantastic that's very good now we should have the stuff for this as well should be able to do that and that okay guys we've got the generators so I'm gonna get this set up now I'm gonna make some more uh, stone cauldrons and I think we can upgrade this cobblestone generator and just have one of them and it can service all of the uh, all of the clickers. I'm sure it'll have enough if we upgrade this thing. So that'll be one less block in the world doing things. So that'll be good. Should be able to clean this up. Here we go. Let's see um, how difficult it is to upgrade these cobblestone generators. So let's just type in cobblestone uh, gen. There we go. Okay, so we have this one, the tier two. Tier three is just diamonds. Okay, we can do that. That's easy. Uh, we only need one of these for now. Cobblestone generator. Okay, I don't have any of those, but I think we can craft these. How much of that do we have? Loot fabricator, statue, loot. Okay, so we need to get some more of those to upgrade it to generator four. Makes one cobblestone every five ticks. Um, okay, what about this one? We just got to put emeralds around it. Oh, we could get to that pretty easy, guys. I'm going to see if we can get our deep mob learning stuff back out. So... Let's have a look here. Deep mob learning, because we want to get the 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 hellish matter, don't we? So, um, actually, I need to type at at no, not at hellish deep, guys. That's what we're looking for in here. Okay, here we go. Our simulation chamber. That's what we need. Um, and I need to look up how we get the hellish matter, which is this one here. Uh, in here, we put in a blaze one, a gas, or a wither skeleton one. Or I think we can craft it with the overworldian matter. Okay, so we'll have to make a bunch of this. Can we craft this? Okay, we need to get some more of this. And the best way to get this, I guess, is with our zombie one. Because our zombie one's actually pretty... It's, like, upgraded now because we killed all the zombies when we were in the uh, that crazy Lost Cities place. 
So yeah, we should be able to do that. So let's get that set back up, guys. I just tore all this down, but it's all right. There we go. We'll give this power. That should fill up. And the data model is in here. So let's take out the zombie one like that. And if we put this in here, and we also need to make that stuff there, which is called polymer clay. Let's open that up in here. Get some of this stuff going. Hey, oh, I must have clicked on that. That's that's silly. Right, here we go, here we go. Let's craft some of this. That makes 16. That's very good. Let's just make 64 for now. Put that in here, and then this should get going. Okay, so this should make us the overworldian matter now, which we can use to craft this like this. Okay, fantastic. So we need um, 16 of these, I think, because I think it only makes one. Yes, so we need 16 to get eight to go around our cobblestone generator to upgrade it to the top tier. Okay, cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that noise is annoying. So I think that's this clicking here. So, oh no, I've turned it off. Oh, okay. Right, let's turn this back on. I think we got dispenser dispense. Is that annoying or is it button click? Uh, is this recent? Yeah, this is recent. So we want to remove that sound. Oh no, guys, now we've just put it back. Uh, we're on the whitelist now. Okay, blacklist, we want to add. And we want to go recent, dispenser, add. Now we want to go add again. Recent. I forgot how to use this thing. That one. Add. We're still hearing the clicking, guys. Okay, it must be something else. Uh, blacklist. Add. Recent. Um, 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 dispenser fail. That's the one we want to add. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. This thing is confusing, but I do like it. It's, it's a really cool item. So we'll stick that up there. And fantastic, so this will shut up now. I've just been testing it, guys. Basically, it will keep clicking, but um, it's not a problem because that's that's pretty much full. So it's not there's no cobblestone going anywhere. So we could probably turn this down and maybe have some sort of redstone or something stopping this continually going. But I mean, it's not really a problem, guys. It's it's putting the lava in. So we've got four of those. Um, I've just finished getting the hellish matter for this. Oh, I had four up here. That's where that went. I was confused where that went. Okay, anyways, we can make the blaze rods now. We, we need eight. So we take the blaze rods. We make them like this. Fantastic. Let's make eight of those. And there we go. Put those in the system. And now we can upgrade our cobblestone generator. So cobblestone generator. Uh, we can upgrade to this one now. So we just want one of these. And then we can upgrade it to the best one. So we probably only need one of these. Every ticket makes a block. I'm sure that's enough. If it's not, I mean, we can just make another one. So... Here we go, guys. We've got um, we've got four energy transfer nodes and four of these. Now we need to set this up in a way. Uh, let's let's take all this stuff out. We need to set this up in a way so that we're not really losing power. So if we lose power, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have to set this all back up again. So this needs to go here. Uh, no, this this needs to go here. So let's get these other ones hooked up first. Let's just take out this side because currently we're not even using that side. So there we go, that can come out. I've got a bigger tank now that holds up to 64 buckets of of liquid. Here we go, the fluid tank by Cyclic. Really easy to make, actually. Um, let's take the wireless charger out. All this stuff needs to come out. So yeah, let's put in um, some more of these. We'll put you there. We need some more torches. Do we have torches on us? Of course not. That would be too much to ask, ask wouldn't it, guys? Torches. Just grab a stack of those out. There we go. Stick that on the ground there, and we put another cauldron in right here. And we need to come pick this one up. We've lost our tool. Oh, why am I not using the party pick? I don't know if I mentioned, guys, but the party pick is in here. So that's fantastic. You can use it's. It's a little bit too fast, though, so I kind of like to just have this one going for now. So we're going to have clickers on this side looking into these. So we can put them here. And I wonder if we can click on the side of that redstone there. There we go. Those should both be facing in. If I put cobblestone in here, uh, into here, sorry. Uh, we need to give these power. See, that's the problem, guys. This has all the power right now. So uh, maybe we can move this somehow. Let's have a look. Uh, let's take something out of here. Hopefully this holds its power while we move it. If we move this over here, let's see if it's still, okay, it's still got the power. That could, if we want to, take this energy transfer node and place that over there. And then we can use that to power these clickers while we move the other system around, because I really don't want to run out of power. This should hopefully be enough. So 
let's take the GPS's out of here. That one is just doing the air. So if we go like, oh, this is all going to get very close. You know what? I'm going to take these out and move them further out. Actually, this is too close. I need to. I need more space, guys. So let's move those out a bit. They're going to come out an extra block. It's maybe here and. Uh, maybe there and there. Is that an extra block out? I think it is. I think I've just. I think they were here a second ago. Okay, so we've given ourselves an extra space there, so we can place this right on this corner here. Okay, cool. So let's get another one of these set up on this side. It's all going to come together, guys. So we want the cobblestone being pushed into those, and then we want. Um, oh, how are we going to get the lava out of them? I guess we can pull it out the front here. So fluid extraction is going to come out the front here. And then it's going to lead into here and into here. So we should, once we get that going, so we need to power these. That's what I need to do. So I need to take this and power this with this thing over here. There we go. Uh, this is not getting any power from this though. So what we need to do, eject on input, auto eject items, energy we want. We want to output it through the top. Is that working now? Is this getting power? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. So we should be making power with that now. So that should be enough for us to get this going. We can take all these GPSs out. Oh, we can't pick them all up. There's not enough space in our inventory. Let's put some of this stuff away. Um, wireless charger, dropper, polymer. Half of this stuff can go away. Okay, we should be able to pick up the rest of these now. All these GPS is going everywhere and we can pick this up and move it over here So we should have almost the working system here guys. I just got to make sure the power is still getting made in here No, why are we not clicking? Oh, I haven't turned the clicking on guys. That probably would help Is it going now right click? It's got power um, Maybe because this is here Yep, that, that's what was stopping it. Okay. So that should have made a lot of that, and this should be filling up now. And, oh, okay, this is going now as well, so we need to take that out. All this old system is just getting in the way. Okay, guys, the last little setup here. We need to get the item extraction cable. That needs to go underneath here, and we, we need to get back out of here somewhere. Oh, we're stuck now, guys. We are completely stuck. Okay, we're going to get rid of this for now so we can get back out of here. Oh, actually, you can climb in this mod. I keep forgetting about climbing, guys. Okay, so I've disconnected these here, so that's going to flow into this tank first, and then from the tank into all these machines, because I want to put a fluid transfer node on here, so we can make sure all our fluids are still getting put into the right places down there with the lava. Um, so we can put the item cables along here now. So this should be getting... They should all be getting filled up. It looks like they're getting filled up. Okay, cool. Hopefully this thing can keep up with... Um, four of these. I'm not sure if it can, but we'll find out. Uh, let's place blocks here so we can block against it with our auto clickers. Here we go. Ugh, frustrating. Completely frustrating. Just let me up there, you freaks. All these blocks that are slightly different sizes. There we go. Now these should get them as well. Oh, no. Put that back. We're going to put on another item cable here. Very good. These should be filling up. They're filled up. I've put these all on four for now, so... It's making a little bit of a noise. I'll sort that out in a second. But it is making lava, and it is filling this up still. And I haven't connected it up all the way around here yet. Oh, those are the wrong cables, guys. We just want the cables. We don't need those. Uh, the cables. There we go. So that should fill up that. This is all set up as well, so we should be... Okay, that one's full. That one's filling. Okay, good, guys. These are now making lots of lava okay cool so we should be able to get some upgrades for all of these as well um we're just waiting on iron as per usual so let's take this out and there are three gps markers in here so we need to oh now we're stuck again oh i just remembered i can i can climb out of here so if i jump if i jump and hold shift no a jump hold shift and then let go of shift you jump up okay very confusing but it does work okay good so now these can reroute into here as well and then we can turn these off some of these cables are a little bit hard to click on but i think i've got it there you go so it's going to go into this tank first and then distribute into these so once these are filled all of them it will start filling this tank and then from this tank we will use that uh fluid transfer node to transfer to the machines over there so i'm just going to quickly put these gps's away because actually let's put them in here and see if they go anywhere 
Uh, okay, all the GPSs are out of my inventory. So these GPSs that fall out of this one are all going to be... Um, they're all going to be for that, for fluid transfer, because otherwise I'd have the power one. So what I can do is just place this in the middle here, and that should get lava. Okay, very good. Now we can fill this up, and they should all be getting lava now. So we got the tank, tank, and tanks. Okay, all the tanks are getting filled up with lava now. Fantastic. Okay, guys, this is almost set up. Let's get the transfer nodes on top here. And, the, oh. What are we doing? Nobody knows. Still full. Okay, very good. This one now can come off and go back over here. So let's put that there. And then put all of these in here. Oh dear. I don't know which is which now. We're going to have to find out which is which. But you can do that just by clicking on here. So this is going for the industrial foregoing froster. So that's being powered. Let me the hydrator there. Then we have the latex processing unit. Then we have the auto clicker. It comes up in chat down there. So we want the auto clickers. We want all of the auto clickers. Auto packager, fluid pipe getting power for some reason. And we have the auto packager and the fluid pipe. So we are not powering these ones over here, are we? These are not getting power yet. So we need two more GPS. Right, guys, this is almost set up. I'm pretty excited. Here we go. GPS. Let's make two of these. Two and then we'll make sure we get those two here separate these in the inventory first this one and then put this one here and do that one cool those should both get power now if we chuck them in here there we go auto clicker auto clicker so those should all be powered they're going to click now they're going to be making lots of lava and lots and lots of power so this is all upgraded now guys all we got to do is you can put four slots of upgrades in here as well. So that's always good. So for some reason, guys, that sound is the armor equip sound. But it's gone now. We've turned that off with our awesome super sound muffler. And look at the noise you hear when it's not in your inventory. As soon as you put it back in your ball ball slot, it's all fixed. So guys, this is looking like it's almost starting to fill up. These should be full soon. Okay, these are all full. I, I am pretty sure it's just filling all of these pipes now. So we actually need to get rid of this pipe because that's a waste right there. We should be in lava right now. That's actually a waste of a pipe right there. Now, can we can we get out the back, guys? Oh, we can't. We're stuck again. Okay, guys, very cool. Our cobblestone generator is keeping these all topped up. That's got 64. That's got 64. 64 there and 64 there as well. So that is great. This is all going well. All of our auto clickers are in this one here. So I need to try and remember that, but they're all here, right here. So that's that's this one needs to always have power, basically. Oh, and it's got the speed modifiers in it too. Okay, that's actually very handy. And look, our tank is slowly filling up and it might almost get to the top, guys. It's yeah, it's that's good, guys. This system seems to be keeping up. It seems to go up and down there, but we seem to have a lot of lava and building up power in all of these things as well. So these are full. I need to make sure these are all turned all the way up because we don't want them giving power slowly. We want them giving power fast. Okay, good. I am very happy with our new power system. Alrighty, guys, we just upgraded our metallurgic uh, infusory reno thingamajig into uh, this, this basic infusing system. And as you can see, guys, it sorts them. So you turn auto sort on and you put your redstone in here, instantly goes in here, and then it just does this. It makes heaps at a time. Now, I want to just make sure this is keeping up. Um, hmm, maybe not. We need some upgrades in that one. Maybe we can take this. Is this the one? Uh, energy pipe. Yeah, that one. Now let's take it and put it in here because this one makes a lot more power because it has the speed modifiers. So that should be able to keep up with this. But as you can see, guys, it makes all this stuff way, way, way quicker. So I want to get these upgraded today. I've just made the basic crushing factory as well, which as you can see is uh, going to crush things a lot quicker. So we want to make cotton here. We can go auto sort, which will spread them out like that. It's going to use all the power that it had in it. All I got to do, guys, is I'm powering this here because you can't power these blocks directly. So what you want to do is, uh, that's the wrong cable, but we want to put that. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes, guys, I just click all the wrong buttons. I want to take my energy cables out of here. And uh, this one here is being powered. So it's going to power all of these machines that I put here. So that's really good. This is going to go so much quicker. Look at this. And I'm sure you can get like upgrades and stuff for this as well. And we can upgrade it again. So if we type in basic 
infusing thing in the jig. Where is it? Basic melting, basic basic crushing factory. So this is one of the ones I made. If I click on it, and you can use it to make this as well. So which is why I'm making a bunch of these because I can upgrade these again uh, with with these and this, which is just the basic control circuit with this. And how do we make these again? I've forgotten osmium and redstone. Okay, so let's get a bunch of osmium, and we can put this into the system and we need redstone again we're going to need a lot of redstone soon so uh, we should probably get a better way of getting that i think i made a pig over there that makes it so yeah uh let's go in here this should be done pretty quickly so it's made 39 already normally it wouldn't be anywhere near that oh it's going to auto sort so if you turn this off you can do that and then you'll be able to do oh you can't put something different in there okay might as well leave auto sort on then Let's get that completed, but as you can see guys, it's going very, very quickly. So guys, now that we've got those, I just want to put these in so we can get a couple of these and we can make the advanced circuits just so we can upgrade these and see how quick they are when we upgrade them again. So there's quite a few mechanism um, systems that we need to make, but yeah, these are the first couple and um, I'm not sure there's challenges for these, but they're very, very handy. So um, Age of Power, it might be in here somewhere, some of these things. Maybe down here. No, that's nuclear craft. So yeah, we're uh, we're good. We're getting all this stuff now. It's very good. And right, let's upgrade this. Let's get a couple of these. Let's take all this out. Oh, let's turn that off so we can just grab all this out. Redstone, that is not where you go. You go in there, my friend, like that. Okay, very cool. Oh, I'm about to pick this up, so I hope that doesn't waste it. Um, let's craft this up, guys. Let's make let's make the better one of this. So we do. We need to make two of these like this two of these place them there and there and then put these there 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 and there i think that's what it was let's put that there oh there was something else that went on the side wasn't there so let's have a look let's uh basic just type in basic for now and then find it so purifying compressing enriching smelting nope it's one of these though infusing factory there we go okay it's two iron and then we can take this and put it in. It doesn't go in the recipe, apparently. Oh, I don't want this. This is not the one I want, guys. We don't want this. I'm going to have to redo this. Let's, um, oh, actually, let's check because that's not quite right, is it? We want to see which one that goes into. What am I doing? Nobody knows. Infusing factory. Right click on it so we can see which one it builds into, which is this one. Now we can put this in here. And you get the advanced infusing system. Okay, let's see how fast this beast is. Let's put in... Oh yeah, I did waste that redstone. So if we... Uh, we need another stack of redstone, don't we, guys? I just wasted so much redstone. That was really bad of me. There we go. Let's put this in. Let's put this. That doesn't go there. It goes there. And let's put the osmium in. And then auto sort. And let's see how fast this is. So it can do five at a time. It seems about the same speed, but... It's doing five at a time, so it's very, very quick, guys. How awesome is that? Alrighty, guys. I upgraded all of our mechanism machines now, so we have an advanced smelting factory. Well, I actually just made this. We didn't have this before, so this should be really awesome. Uh, the enrichment factory is now up and running as well, so what I'm going to do is turn sort on. Uh, let's turn sort on on all of these just for now. Make sure it's all on, and this one is on as well. Okay, very good. Let's take these as well. Um, I'm just going to put well, my last of my iron in here, get that going. Okay, guys, the enriching factory. I've just made a bunch of clay, so I'm going to push this in here, and hopefully this just goes all through here. This will make four clay balls, so I don't have to put this down and then break it myself. It's just going to do it like this, and then we can take all this, and let's see how fast this smelter is. I'm not really sure. So this is all just using power, but oh, it's very noisy. These things are all very, very noisy. But um, yeah, look, look, guys, we're gonna get we're gonna get bricks just like that. That is much quicker than a regular furnace. We've just got five bricks out of nowhere. Okay, guys, the next uh, stage for our upgrading these. So if we just go in here and type in advanced, advanced, and then we can look at these. So this is the enrich enriching factory. We can click on it, and that means to make the elite one, we'd have to make these reinforced allies, which are these ones with crushed diamond or compressed diamond but probably crushed diamond would be the best way to go and then yeah that makes the reinforced alloy and then i believe we use those probably here somewhere to make these how do we make these so yeah you put the advanced one in here so what we're going to need is a bunch of these and a bunch of these so i'm going to craft up a lot of these 
and a lot of these. And then we'll see if we can get these upgraded to Elite as well, which would be really, really cool. But look at this. Look at this. Now, I just go like this, and that automatically distributes it, and I'm just getting stuff so quick now. This is awesome, guys. So awesome. And all you got to do is make sure you power this cable here, because you can't power any of these directly. But there you go, guys. This is all set up. Right. Let's get some more of these. So we need iron and redstone. And we also, I think we've made enough of these now. So we should be all right there. Okay, guys, it is time. We've just made a bunch of these. They're still making. But while that's making, we can come in here and collect all this stuff. And we can pick this up. And we can pick up this one. We'll all our clay in it here. That'll be enough for now. Take that up. And the smelting factory. Oh, I've already taken everything out of there. Okay, guys, now we can upgrade these in here we should be able to upgrade these to the elite things so the elite crushing factory uh crushing factory there we go brilliant there we've got an elite one now we can make the advanced elite enrich fa enrichment factory and the advanced smelting factory now i did put some upgrades on some of these i think it was on the crusher so i'm wondering if it keeps these or not let's have a look so plug this back in should get some power yes it keeps the upgrades okay that's very cool well, we want the enrichment, uh, enriching factory there. Let's take this out, and then we can advance, um, update this one as well while we're at it. Elite, uh, advance. There we go. Put that back in there. Very cool, guys. These should all be very fast now. And I didn't quite look, but how many slots do they have? So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven slots. And we can upgrade this. So I've put how many speed upgrades in this? I think I've put all the speed... Um, things in here that I can. I'll try to put more in to see how quick we could get this thing. Elite Crushing Factory. Oh, these are so cool, guys. These are going to be so quick. It's unbelievable. And I, we probably need to make the rest of the mechanism machines. But you know what? This is just so cool, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, the next thing is we need another way to get iron. Now, I've been looking. I don't think there's really any way we can do it, except I did find something very cool. So if we go in here, we can come across across to the loot fabricator and these pristine zombie matters gives us eight iron which is what i did to get the iron for what we've got so far so that's really cool that's one other way we can do it we can do it this way no this way i'm just looking to see if there's any way we can do this a little bit better okay statue loot i don't really know how, like how do you make a statue like yeah see that seems kind of expensive i can't get chorus flowers or nether quartz or very easily not at the moment anyway so we got the pressurizer that just turns that back into that and that okay so there's no real other way to get it but this is pretty cool guys we can take these out of here and place them in here and then look we click on the iron these are all the things you can get from it but i mean what do we need any of this stuff or maybe a zombie head at some stage but we can turn all of these just into iron and this is this is a really good way to get iron so we get these a lot more often now because we've upgraded our zombie model so we should probably go somewhere and upgrade this to the full and then we can use this to get iron as well. Uh, the problem is these are not keeping up with the power though. Because we need to get upgrades in here, which requires the iron. So yeah, if we have a look in here, we can type in, I think it's a speed upgrade for, oop, putting in random things in there. I think it's a speed upgrade. Oh, okay, hang on. What is it called, guys? Speed modifier, of course. Why would you call it the same as everything else? I mean, I guess that's kind of a good thing as well. So we need this, which doesn't have iron, but this does. This To get four of these, you need an iron block. So you end up making quite a lot of stuff to get an iron block here. So, you know, it's difficult, but we're getting there, guys. So that is really cool. And yeah, we've also got this making iron and the pigs over there making iron. Maybe we just make more and more pigs. But yeah, that, that's probably the, the, the long run goal is just to make the pigs because they can get the iron pretty easy. And then we need to smelt it up. But I am thinking, guys, if we look in the prestige menu, which sometimes takes a while to load, there we go. If we look here, we can get uh, the the Tinker's Construct Smeltery, which is a lot better than the one that we're using right now. So maybe we'll get that when we get our next point. I'm not too sure what we're going to do, but yeah, that would probably be a smart thing to do. Alrighty, guys, let's give this a bit of a test now. Let's see how fast this thing is. Uh, we should turn auto sort on. There we go. This has got all the speed upgrades as well. I think that red means we can't add any more. But as you can see, this is making a lot. So does it really matter? All we needed was two pieces, but I thought let's let's make 64. So guys, we are doing this in order to make this here. How come we've only got one wool? Yeah, I think it's down in the system down there. 
Oh, we're going to have to run all the way back down there because it's in the crafting grid of this one down here, which is kind of an annoying feature, to be honest, that I can't pull it out of here. Because if you look down here at this one here, it's right here. And I wanted to use it, but it wasn't in the system because it's in this crafting window. There we go. Now we can make some carpet. Strangely enough, that's what we want, guys, because I have been looking through the system and I have found a treadmill. So I wanted to give this thing a go. Let's have a look. We can make that. Fantastic. Now can we make the rest of this? Oh, one obsidian. It's always one obsidian, guys, I tell you now. So let's type in bucket. We need the lava bucket here. And we need a normal bucket because it doesn't seem to work with this diamond bucket. So let's do that. Let's run over here, quickly make some obsidian. I need a machine that makes obsidian. I'm sure there's one. There's an easy way to set it up. So I will look into that very quickly because I am sick of doing this. Hey, hey, hey. Well, like I said, it doesn't work with that bucket. Dumb brain not working. There, there we go. There's our one piece of obsidian that we need. And I think we need to run back over here because it's probably in the crafting screen again. All the stuff that we need. So there we go. If we just place this here, we can get the treadmill. Okay, fantastic, guys. Let's make a lead. That's all we need, I believe. We should be able to make that. There we go. Put one of those in. Now, guys, we have our pigs here. So let's pick one up and take it with us up to the top where all the power gets made. Hello, Mr. Pig. Come with me. Oh, no, come with me. Very good. Okay, guys, I don't think this is going to be permanent, but it's just a bit of fun. So, actually, if it makes a lot of power, why not? Let's um, let's place this right next to this. I'm presuming it's going to be... How, how do I place it down? Are you in the way, Mr. Pig, or is it a bigger thing than that? Okay, it faces backwards. That's, that's highly annoying. Why would it face that way? Okay, we're going to place it right there. And we're going to get a lead and tie it to Mr. Pig and put him on there. And oh my goodness, that is awesome. Spits the lead back out as well. Look at him go. This is kind of cruel, but is he making power? I, I don't know, guys. Is he making power? Who knows? It's uh, generating 2.0 PW. I don't know what PW is, guys. But, you know, oh, I don't want to do that either. Let's have a look. I mean, this is going up anyway, but I don't I don't know what this is doing, guys. But there you go. There's a pig on a treadmill. So that's that's that, guys. That's that's pretty funny. I'm going to pack this up because this is cruel. You can just wander around, Mr. Pig. And it, I don't think it's generating much power, to be honest. Alrighty, guys. What we're going to do here is we've got some power cells and things like that. Craft an RF tools information screen. Oh, that's quite cool. That is quite cool, actually. I wonder if we can we can make that. What's it called? Uh, RF Tools Power Information Screen. That's probably quite cool. I thought we'd just do a few more challenges here for the end of the episode. Power Screen. I think that was what it was called. Power Information. Okay, let's just type in Information. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. Information Screen. Oh, it's not that difficult either. Oh, it does take iron, though. Does everything have to take an iron block? I'm running out of iron again. Right, let's just see what this does. This could be quite cool, actually. So we can put this on here, on this thing. It's going to la lag. RF, 124, max 124. Does that mean it's holding that? Oh, I can't click on it now. Because that silly screen's on it. Yeah, so it's full. Oh, okay. That's quite interesting. What if we put it on something that's like transferring power, like this thing? And that's full as well. But these things are unreliable. They don't really update as you use them. Oh, this, this setup's not being used. Let's put it on this side, where things are going in and out all the time. So that's just hovering. Six, three. So it was more accurate than that screen anyways, guys. So that's good. I, I thought it would give us more information, like it's generating a certain amount or whatever. But we might be able to use that at a, at a later stage, guys. I am not getting the challenges for some reason, guys. This is very confusing. Either way, guys, achievements or not, this episode is over. Thank you so much for watching, and I will hope to see you on the next episode. Me and Mr. Pig over here, who is no longer a slave.